So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to reinvent yourself after 50 and feel confident. Have you ever experienced a transition in life and it just made you feel off balance? And at that moment, you felt no longer sure of the decisions that you made and you felt that maybe if somebody else would make the decision for you, the life would be so much easier. Well, in this video, we're going to explore how to reinvent yourself and feel confident after 50. Welcome back. So if you haven't had an opportunity to subscribe to my channel, then go right now and click on the red button. And also, once you click that button, there's also a little bell. So make sure you click on the bell as well, because that will make sure that if, when my videos are released, that you will get an update. Over the last three months, a lot of us have been going through events that have tested who we are and, and what we stand for. and um, you know how to navigate through those changes and sometimes changes can really just throw you off balance when you think about it the problem comes when you have a new challenge you have new stressors in life but you still already have the old ones that you were dealing with maybe you were going through a divorce or maybe you were going through a separation from, from someone that you cherished or maybe you just got a diagnosis from a doctor and it wasn't the news that you were looking forward to hearing worst of all you could have lost one of your loved ones in death so no matter what your change is now you're probably already dealing with transitions in life and you just wasn't exactly sure how do i navigate these waters right now how do i cope how do i still make transitions in life because i still have my own goals i still have my own desires and hopes for life and for living so that's why this video is so important right now because we're going to analyze and, and see how you can reinvent yourself, navigate through life, feel confident, to make decisions from a different place. The first thing you have to realize is that if you want to reinvent yourself, and when you reinvent yourself, it's such a loaded word to reinvent myself. But when you do that, in order to do it, you need to come from a place of power, come from a place of recognizing that no decision is a bad one. It's simply whether you choose to do decision A or whether you choose to do decision B. Neither one of these can be bad in itself. It's all in how you look at it. And perception and a positive mindset can go a long way when you're making the decision. So let's move on to uh, point number two. Now, once you put your decision out there that you've made it, you will make sure that that just that it just succeeds so in order to make it succeed no one else can make your decisions for you no one else can live your life but you no one else can care for you like you and no matter who give you advice what they would do if they were in your shoes you know in all honesty if somebody else was in your shoes they would more than likely make a slightly different decision they will make a decision based on their experiences. They will make a des decision based on their life, their environment. So you really have to make a decision from a place of, um, you know, knowing that your decision will succeed. When you must realize when you're reinventing yourself, there's nothing wrong with you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. You're not someone who's broken or needs to be fixed. You're you. And I want you to embrace that. I want you to embrace who you are. Unless you're a person who's just mean and always in a crabby mood and just can't seem to be happy, then you need a reinvention. <laughs> but, because no one wants to be around someone like that. But there's nothing wrong with you. You're not broken. You don't need to be fixed. To reinvent yourself basically simply means that it means to change something so much so that it, it appears to become new unless you're as I mentioned previously you're just this mean person you don't want to reinvent who you are because who you, who you are is a result of everything that you've came from everywhere that you've, your experiences your upbringing your uh, your education everything that you go through that's who you are so why would you want to change it the most confident position that you can take is to recognize that life is a journey Life is about rediscovering, 
um, acknowledging it's about growing it's um, learning to to grow through your experiences and there was a quote years ago that I came across and so it said that you can grow without changing but you can't change without growing isn't that profound you can grow without changing but you can't change without growing so no matter what you do if you never change anything go anywhere do much you will always be growing because life is always bringing about something new and uh, we're dealing with something new so if you lose someone in death you um, experience something different you experience a new emotion uh, if you're going if you're in a divorce and you went through a divorce and now you're single that's a completely new challenge for you or, or so it's a new life that you're discovering so of course you're going to grow um, because you're growing from the outcome you're growing from the outcome but the next part of that quote you can grow without changing but you can't change without growing so no matter what decision you make you can still grow and you're going to grow so if you've been having a hard time especially in the area of well-being and you feel that you could use some support let's schedule a call because when it comes to our health and our wellness no one can take better care of you than you but sometimes we come across situations in our, in our life where we don't exactly know where to start there's so many conflicting information out there there's so much that says do this don't do that try this don't try that eat this don't eat that you know there's keto there's um, intermittent fasting there's you know all these lifestyle changes so if you don't really know exactly what to do you can become lost in this sea of information so if you've been having a hard time dealing with you know how to um, how to really boost your level of self-care and wellness and right now let's be honest a lot of us need it we need someone to help us with direction and and I find that a lot of women that come to me as clients they're looking for direction they're looking for di direction on how to how to heal how to be uh, how to up level their their wellness their their life how to be how to be a better version of themselves so if that's something that you've been struggling with right now and you realize that I've neglected my life for so myself and my life for so long and it's time to it's time to do better if you feel that now's the time to do better about yourself but let's schedule that one-on-one -on -one health and wellness call because I want you to feel better about yourself mind body and spirit and if that's what you need right now, then I'm here for you. I hope this video has been um, encouraging for you and motivational for you because I feel that now uh, we all need encouragement. We all need motivation. We all need um, something to keep us going. So if you're watching this video and you've watched it all the way through the end, then definitely make sure you subscribe because this channel is, is really geared towards positivity and uh, making sure that the woman over 40 and over 50 is well. So until our next time together, stay beautiful and healthy.